Hey there folks, how we doing? Uh, it's uh, July 2nd, about 11.45 a.m. And uh, I just had a enjoyable experience. It's not my first, but this time... I want to put it on the internet to share with those people that listen and understand. Many of you hear bumps, <coughs> um, taps, even weird sounds talking, like an insectoid type talk. It's just like I heard something, but it, I knew it was language. I knew it was talking, but I couldn't really decipher what the heck it was. Um, you're all being visited, right? Ready for uh, it was. It's been going on for years, but it's it was about the new awakening. Now it's about literally creation changing itself, and within a certain amount of years, um, the end of all solid matter bodies, no more. They're all going energetic. Um, and as long as I get out of here in the next two years. Let's just say within 20 years, that's what's going to happen. Everyone's going to wake up home. But anyway, um, that's not what I want to talk about. One thing I do want to show you real quick. This is some beautiful raw ruby. This this stone, this color, the color of this raw ruby is literally the color, the aura given off of the frequencies of strong hard energy when it's relaxed. Now the heart's an incredible thing. It can put out light green energy for spiritual healing. It can put out dark green energy for physical healing. It can put out orange for passion. It can put out pink for compassion. It can put out blood red color uh, for red. Those are the, the colors, the auras that come off of the different frequencies that the heart creates. I've written all about that. Book three uh, of the uh, um, uh, of my creation series that I wrote for you all, this book one, two, and three. One's the beginning, two's all the fighting and stuff going on, and three is things changing. It's called ETs, uh, the ET arrival, yada yada yada. I don't remember the whole title. Um, if my name wasn't more, it was more than one letter. I would remember it. <coughs> um, they're on Amazon.com. They're they're on the website, the Spiritual Foundation. Um, we have signed copies that we send out for a couple bucks less. You know, this signed like ooh, so popular now. It's it's just authentication. You know, those of you that know me, I don't have any ego issue or you know, a certain amount of ego is good. You have to take care of yourself because the first person you need to depend on is yourself. But when people are all about others, it's just arrogant and disgusting and, you know, completely self-centered. But you're the first person that has to start taking care of yourself. So ego's not a bad thing until ego grows to the point it's a nasty green, black monster. Green's good color, black's good color, but when related to ego growing, that's what they look like. It, um, gets aggressive. Anyway, um, <coughs> excuse me, when it overgrows. Now you can tell I'm still coughing, uh, and I don't want to disgust anyone when I say this, so that this is a warning, just in case you have little children don't need to hear it. I don't think it matters, but uh, whatever. Um, I've been coughing up a lot of phlegm, too. So when I do these videos, you've been hearing me just really cough loud and nasty. Well, yeah, I get a mouthful, okay? Um, I don't do that now. My lungs are shot. They're, 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 the lungs are literally shutting down, dying, just like my heart. Uh, but they get so full of mucus that I can't, uh, I can't function. So when that happens, my buddy will call him Alex. Uh, takes me up in a ship, comes pick me up. He has someone beam me up, and he he's he's in charge. Okay, it's his ship. Um, he pulls me, and like I said, it's four point one times the size of Spain. You know the uh, 
the perimeter you take a look at it. I forget the wording for it, but anyway, uh, uh, it's huge. So they pulled me up on it, and uh, when I when that happens, when he takes me up there and, and he helps me, they have a machinery that they put inside my mouth that goes down into my throat, it goes into my lungs, it goes all over the place. It literally starts sucking up the mucus everywhere it can find it. Now my lungs still cough. These lungs are shot. I am dying. I've been dying for years, but now I'm finally coming down to it. Uh, like this, um, the pulmonary group I go to now, there's about a dozen of the best doctors from young to old that really know their stuff. And they said, hey, you know, you, your lungs are shot. Um, you have the COPD, but you have some other kind of a, a chronic something or other. It's when the lungs are so screwed up, all they can do, all they do is put out mucus as they're dying. As they're just quitting. Um, and what I didn't know is uh, um, that the heart, my heart problems, uh, they're half of the uh, problem with my breathing. It's the heart shutting down. So that's how I have all my hope for getting out of here sooner than later. The body's just stopping. Anyway, so that's why my buddy took me up there, had, had me brought up to a ship, uh, right into the med bay. And uh, this isn't the first time he's done it. He's done it a couple other times. Uh, sometimes he'll pull me up over there and uh, uh, take little samples of my DNA. Um, uh, they have equipment that's awesome. They can, they can, they have sensors. They can literally, literally put over me while I'm sitting in my chair, laying back in my chair. It's sitting mostly, just barely leaning back a little bit. I, otherwise, I choke on my phlegm. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, they, uh, uh, when they have to do some work, they usually just pull me up on the ship, and then I wake up where I've been gone five hours. I haven't had to, uh, you know, take a leak. I have, uh, I measure my fluids in and out. So, uh, uh, trying to keep a, a little bit of a lid on this edema where my body's blowing up with water and stuff. It, water and then the water turns to fat and it just, you get huge. But with a muscle, uh, with my muscle actually just going away to nothing, I actually lost a few pounds, but my body size grew three times. <laughs> Anyway, uh, so he's doing what he can to take care of me. They're not allowed to interfere in our lives and do stuff. Now, when this quote-unquote Federation of Planets used to exist, and I, in my videos I talked all about them getting their ass kicked and the Alliance of Life taking over. I, I was literally there when it happened. I was the, back, the backbone part of it. <coughs> and when I say me, I'm talking about Ara. This body just stays here, and then I come out and do what I need to do. Anyway, um, for those of you that are new, I, this has got to be more than you can deal with uh, to accept any of it. That's to be expected, you know. Um, anyway, uh, so uh, I'm sorry, my head's slipping. It's like brr, pressure going in on me. Um, a little Lithuanian working on me. They're trying to help me to talk better, but the body's dying and they're shutting it down more. So it's kind of like a, a game of, you know, uh, where they have the rope and you pull it back and forth. Uh, I can't remember the name of that. Um, tug of war. Anyway. Um, so, uh, uh, I'm not drinking, I'm not um, losing fluids. Um, when I wake up, I only have a bed sheet on top of me, not a bed sheet and then a blanket I use for the lower part of my body to keep my legs warm and feet warm from non-circulation of blood because the heart's not working. Um, <clears throat> and then I feel it right away. At first I have a little bit of anger, right? I wake up, when I wake up it's different. And then all of a sudden, boom. Um, I wake up. I'm a little bit not not half, kind of halfway mad, uh, annoyed, just annoyed, um, not mad. <coughs> Damn lungs. <clears throat> anyway, uh, so I wish they just quit. 
so anyway, uh, uh, that and I realized, look at the time, I realized I've been uh, gone for five hours. It's four or five hours. Um, every two hours, I wake up in the middle of the night. So uh, uh, I know when that's gone. But the feeling of waking up is another thing. And then I immediately start recalling what, whatever happened. Um, but last last night or this morning, early this morning, it was from uh, two to uh, wait a minute. It was from nine to two. Yeah, from nine o'clock last night. I got to sleep early last night, like six thirty. Then from nine o'clock last night to two o'clock this morning is when I was up there. And they come over and poor Deanna, she has such a hard time sleeping. She's got so much stuff going on. Uh, she was knocked out and they do that they they'll knock the person out so they can't get up and walk around and she can't see that I'm missing um, anyway uh, so I saw that I was on there I saw they drain the fluids out and they had a harder time um, getting it done this time to, they had a harder time trying to help me breathe as easy because since the last time they did it I don't think it was a week ago my lungs are worse so they couldn't give me back as much of my breath as uh, we wanted to but at least I'm not choking on a phlegm for now it'll last for about a week um, but anyway let me tell you about the ship being on that ship is cool it really is um, uh, Alex has uh, just to use his name to use a name Alex uh, Alex has uh, 28 small ships that are embedded inside the bottom of his big ship, and they're about they're about a little under a mile and a half in diameter, you know, which is big, but not as big as you know. They're nothing compared to his large ship. Um, but I was on the big part of it in the medical bay, um, and it's so funny because they have an, an, an outfit they put on me that's uh, it's clothing. But it's got some thicker straps of something. So it's flexible, but it's some kind of straps that go through the clothing and a little device, and it levitates you. It's an anti-gravitational device. And I have a person on each side, and they hold me by the arm, just, you know, softly. And I'm floating a little bit. As we walk through the corridor, you would think you're looking straight, that you're going straight. But I know I'm not. I, I could feel myself leading to the right a little bit because there was a slight curvature in the hall. Now, it's not like something you see on TV like uh, Star Trek or one of those other places where the halls really curve. It's not like that. I mean, this thing, this thing's huge. It's, it, you know, it, it's, like I said, 4.1 times the size of Spain. I mean, but it's not going straight. You can feel it when you're on there. And because I'm in an anti-gravitational suit, because, you know, it's better than being in a, a wheelchair. They don't have wheelchairs. So, I mean, not per se, like, uh, for uh, to use for what I need. It's just got that suit, and then you just kind of uh, move along. But it, I, I ex, 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 explicitly, distinctly, explicitly remember... Um, leaning over to the right a little bit because I knew there was a curvature. It's something you feel more than you uh, see. Uh, also, a friend of mine is going to be uh, uh, moving a lot of supplies around, and he's got a special truck that they have a few of them, but his is made a little different to suit him. Uh, it's a ship and it's a truck, and he'll be moving supplies. And people are going to it. Um, you've met him before on. Uh, uh, a YouTube uh, channel thing. His name is Brett. Really cool guy. The awesome, awesome individual. He's got incredible heart energy. Um, I'm not saying any last names or anything because you know that's that's for uh, uh, that's for him to do, not me. It's not my place. Um, but uh, on the inside, they they actually made some of the controls. They, I, I saw this personally. They, they have some like long levers like shift rods and stuff inside to where it's going to be for him because he's a trucker it's going to be a whole lot like his truck is very familiar and that's why his is different than the others it doesn't run on fuel it, people are going to see it they're going to say wow that's crazy and then they're going to say I hear a humming there's no engine and he'll 
say it's it's like a it's like a, a electrical energy kind of thing it's energy all right but he can literally go from riding on the street to just boom see it um, and he's going to be delivering supplies and ships around to different places um, if you haven't seen that video yet with uh, uh, Kate and uh, 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 Brett and Jonathan and uh, never forget Alex uh, uh, Alexis Alexis Hope yeah, I, I call him Alex sometimes but it's not the same person uh, that has the ship he's, he's like us um, anyway uh, <coughs> all this stuff is coming and people are still going to be riding around and in th things, but when I get out of here, the first uh, first eight months to a year are going to be really serious destruction. Not of good people, but of bad things. And then after that, uh, it's fun, fun and games until everyone gets taken out of body. And there's years involved, but like I said, if I, if I get out of here this year, within not at, within, or by the time, uh, within 20 years, everyone's home. So, and it's, it's quicker than that, but let's just leave it there. The whole reason for that is, if you knew the physical bodies were all of a sudden going to disappear, then, you know, you knew the exact date, then soon as, the closer you got, the more frantic you'd get. <coughs> That's not what it's about. When you finally, when I pull all of you, when I take your bodies and uh, just bring them back down to heavy particulate matter, then all of a sudden, it's like it's like all of a sudden someone pulls your shirt off and it's gone, and it's just you, um, no pain, no nothing. You just all of a sudden you're just there without a shirt on. That's basically what it's like. But all of a sudden you feel great. You have no pain, nothing to eat. You don't sleep. You have limitless energy, pretty much. To the limitless energy to do almost anything you want. Uh, I just, uh, my buddy uh, Alex just said something. I got to talk to him in a minute. Um, uh, the one that has the ship. He has two people to work for him. Uh, uh, a lot of people to work for him. <laughs> Thousands. But. Uh, uh, he has a, 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 to me, young, I'm 66, a, a younger man and woman, uh, under 40 anyway, that uh, work for him. And they just, the, the male that just asked me to get a hold of him as soon as it comes in. People, you all have abilities. This is why people get the crank ups. And then all of a sudden, with my energy floating around in you, all of a sudden you start getting more company, and you start to slowly become aware of it. And it's like a it's like a target, but it's not a bad target. It's not a target where you get hit. It's a target where you start getting noticed, where you start getting company. So, if I crank you up, there's a reason for it, and you know, and you're coming. And remember, the first 800 plus crank ups I did were for free. And I touched a whole lot of people, and they get uh, visitation all the time. I just can't do it anymore. We are closing in somehow, sometime on the end of this damn body, and I'm free. So, if you can imagine a, a cloud of living energy, that's what we all are. Sentient energy, spirit. That's who we are, non-corporeal beings. No bodies. And then uh, the focal point of that energy goes inside the, the body and then it has to wait to get out. Anyway, uh, a lot of you are going to get rides in these ships and it's the neatest thing in the world. Um, cafeterias, TV rooms, they have so many things that are what we would expect are there. Uh, restaurants, different types of food. Uh, almost everything is made from the, except for little specials here and there, everything is, uh, which is vegan. Um, everything's made from the uh, replicators, people call them. I, I call them food synthesizers. I don't know. Anyway, I got to go. Um, but a lot of you are going to 
shortly after I'm gone, you're going to start seeing these ships. They're not going to, I don't think they're going to show themselves strongly, except for through myself and others involved with me in the Spiritual Foundation, which is becoming the uh, Essex Ramirez and Aya Foundation. It, it already is anyway, but it's not public yet. So, uh, uh, they're going to wait till after I do the damage and they're going to come in and help clean up. They don't want anyone to think that they're responsible for any of the damage because they won't. They will be responsible for zero problems that you've ever had. Zero. They'll be responsible for zero problems that you'll ever have in the future. Period. They're cool as hell, but their laws are a little too uh, strict about not coming to see us and, and make contact. So that's all right. When I get out of here, everything will be the way it needs to be. Let me just say that. Folks, love you. Sorry that's not a more detailed description uh, with pictures and a video of walking through a ship. It's not like that. Not until I'm gone. And then you're going to start You're gonna start seeing that. That's going to start happening. Uh, Alexis, uh, also called Stargazer, he, he's in charge of the entertainment industry just really getting things going Jonathan he's going to be taking care of media which includes some of the um, entertainment people too but it's mass and there's a lot more going on I'm not, I'll let them tell you and, and uh, Kate is going to be uh, involved with the machinery for healing and stuff and she's already got medical training um, and I don't mean from Joe Blow College of Wannabe I'm talking about legitimate, real medical training. But that's to have an understanding. She's of basic medicine, and she's also the world's strongest empath for uh, metaphysical abilities to see in you and look at what's going on. She's the one I use, okay? She was brought to be with me a long time ago. There's a reason why this is all coming together. I was the pinpoint of the spear to make all this stuff happen. It was just supposed to be about praise Mother, Father, God, not look how cool you are, wake up. That's the difference between your original first being male and female and me. And others, you know, that involved with me. And there's, there's a lot more than a hundred of them. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, love you. It's coming. Uh, you'll start seeing more soon. And there will be videos of people walking around on ships and, you know, taking pictures. And then... Uh, It'll get put on there. It'll get put on by people I've introduced you to. And some others. <sighs> Folks, love you, man. Take care and have a good one.